guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy and today's lesson we've got two solos over the song Just the Two of Us, one for more beginner players and one for more advanced players. First of all you should get yourself the free transcription of the beginner solo and that's in the free library at onlinesaxacademy.com and in the premium library you've got access to the advanced solo, the performance tracks and also some backing tracks as well so you can have a go at either playing these set solos or doing your own solos over a nice backing track. So Just the Two of Us is a really fun song to solo over in more of a jazz funk style. When you first look at the lead sheet it can look a little bit daunting as there are quite a lot of chords. But the overall key of this tune is very much in D minor for the alto saxes or G minor for the tenor saxes because we're in concert F minor. And so for the beginner version I was improvising just with the minor pentatonic scale for the first half and then I started adding in the blues note, the A flat on alto or the C sharp on tenor to make a full blues scale. When you're playing in this style of music the most important thing is playing with good rhythm and good phrasing. Some phrasing ideas would be things like repetition, so you're going to take a small fragment and repeat it. Then expanding on that idea you could repeat just the rhythm of that fragment but change some of the notes. Another really useful idea is to take something like a sequence where maybe you play one two three from the scale and then two three four three four five and people can hear this rising pattern going through and it makes it more interesting to listen to. Linked in the description below I have some other useful videos, one of them is a workout where we're making patterns with a minor pentatonic scale and that's going to really help you get to know the scale but also you can start to try and use some of these sequences and patterns when you're improvising. So you should really get to know this minor pentatonic and the blue scale and be able to run through those notes really effortlessly without having to think about oh what's the next note. That will then free up your more creative side where you can start to think about these ideas to build a more cohesive solo and lines where people People can follow the logic of what you're playing. Okay, so here's the beginner version. So that's the kind of thing you can do just with the minor pentatonic and the blues scale and you can create some really nice sounds with that. But if you want to try out some other sounds I'd really recommend learning the chord tones that make up each of those chords. Then when you're improvising you can do a mix of using your blues scale or pentatonic and then you can be more specific with outlining specific chord tones to create more of a vertical sound where you're really outlining those chord changes. In the premium library I also have a worksheet with all these chord tones laid out for the full range of the sax so that you can get to know each of those chords from the lowest possible note on the sax to the highest note. And this way of improvising where you're playing on just the chord tones is called more of a vertical approach to improvising. If you'd like more help on that I've also got that video linked down below talking about the difference between horizontal and vertical improvisation. Alright so here's that advanced version using some more faster notes and also use of chord tones as well. Another important thing when you're improvising over tunes like this, well and any tune really, is to try to engage your ears and try to sing through your instrument. I mean not literally sing but imagine the notes you're playing and try to hear those notes internally and that will guide you and make you play a lot more melodically. 
If you'd like some help with ear training, you can head to the courses page, onlinesaxacademy.com, and there I'm starting to put together an ear training course, which will really help develop your ears and give you a stronger connection between what you're hearing in your mind and putting it onto your saxophone. Okay, that's it for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know in the comments how you got on with this and if there's any other tunes you'd like me to do. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons and I'll see you all next week.